Don't worry. There we go. Posted various message boards on the internet. <laughs> you can take some of these to work. I can share my moldy balls with other people. <laughs> Back to my channel. Hi. <laughs> TikTok. Hi. Welcome to Old Greg's place. <laughs> so we have our Universal Yums box. I hope you look bright enough. I feel like the camera is more set to my paleness uh, than your okay. tanness. I went to the beach. He went to the beach and got tan. So we got the Universal Yums box. This is the Super Yums box. We pay around forty dollars a month for this. What is it? Forty three. About forty three. It's got eighteen to twenty snacks. So we did do the smaller one for a while when I was paying for it. <laughs> so now he's paying for it. So yay. So let's open this up because we got. Let's look. Whoa! I dropped the sticker. I had bubble tea in the kingdom of butterflies. I want some bubble tea. Here's the sticker. So this location is Taiwan. And I'm really excited. Anytime there's like an, it's an Asian country, I am excited. Yes. <laughs> so I'll let you look at the book as we go. So we're just gonna dive right in. It's just gonna be very like chill. We're just gonna open it and try the snacks out. Let's start with this. This is the Coloco. Pea crackers. Bless you. These are lemon and pink salt. It's classic with a salty citrus twist. Oh, these smell. I'm just kidding. Huh. That's weird. I like it, but that's weird. It's weird, but it's like it's not bad at all. It's very strange. It's very interesting. Next thing. Oh, they I don't know how I feel about that. We have potato chips that are steak flavored. Mm, gotta cover up my ugly face Got every time. Shut up. Steak flavored potato chips. I'm scared of these. Things that are supposed to taste like meat. I don't know. Like a juicy steak, but super, super crunchy. <laughs> if it's a crunchy steak, they cook bad. Very bad. This is Dale's steak seasoning. Yup, it's good though. Mm, I don't know. Like neither of those are bad, but it's just like, maybe because I'm not hungry right now, I'm like not willing to like anything. <laughs> These are corn rolls. <laughs> That's what it says, corn rolls. Taiwan's tastier hyphen and spicier hyphen bugle. I don't think you have to read the hyphens. I'm ready with the brother page. I like bugles. I don't know. You don't like bugles? No. I do do the bugle claw though. Give, give yourself a little bugle claw. I don't eat them. I just make the claw. Not bad, but I wouldn't eat them again. You won't even like eat these? Nope. I'm tough to please this time. I was really excited, but I don't know. I'm not finding anything that I'm super like in love with yet. We haven't made it to the sweets yet, so. This is bubble tea popcorn from Pop Smile. We're just trying to let this it focus. Oh, sorry. Popcorn with a tea. <laughs> popcorn with a tea. Terrific. Taiwanese <laughs> twist. Tea. Tea. Terrific. Bubble tea or boba tea comes in many different delicious variations. Huh? It's popcorn. Tastes like caramel popcorn. Yep. Maybe not some more. I got a little something different after a second. Yeah, I think I have a cat hair too. <laughs> but I can't replace regular boba tea. I like the um when I <coughs> when I used to go to Koki tea, I liked a coconut milk tea with strawberry boba it was my favorite. I, I really want bubbles. one. I really want one. Okay, we have more Coloco tea crackers. These are basil. basil. I wasn't a fan of the basil. <laughs> basil. <laughs> basil. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of the basil flavored snacks in the Greek box, so I don't know about these. Taiwan's go-to snack with an herbal finish. Herbal. Herbal. <laughs> Bill. Remember when Suki says, Bill, I thought it would be like Antoine or Basil. <laughs> I like this. Basil. Oh, that is a strong aftertaste. Well, throw that one away. You need some 
Like why? It's like a house Water. plant. You need to spray out your mouth. Careful, there's carbonation. Don't worry. It's like you just walked out and picked up a plant and started chewing on it. Yep. <laughs> we got some umbrella cookies. Okay. So here's the next item, umbrella cookies. They look like little like cinnamon rolls. Black sesame and cinnamon umbrella cookies. I haven't been showing what these snacks look like. That's what this one looks like. The rest of them weren't that interesting. First off, they look like belly buttons, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, they belly do. buttons don't swirl. They have, it's like a fortune cookie that's not sweet and then has a hint of cinnamon. Well, I am not to be pleased this video. <laughs> Each spiral cookie is made of five spice powder contain cumin. Uh, star anise. That one. Clove, pepper, and cinnamon which correspond to the five basic elements in traditional Chinese medicine. Fire, earth, metal, water, and wood. Hmm. Okay. Next up, we got the soy cracker Korean kimchi. Stop saying that. Here's this guy. Asian spicy cabbage on a crispy cracker. Have you eaten kimchi before? I don't know. Hmm? I have no idea. It's like fermented, very spicy cabbage and vegetables. I'm going to say no. I had an aunt who was Korean and they used to like bury it in the ground. I don't know if that's normal, like if everybody does that or if it's just like an older tradition, but it would like ferment in the jar underground. Here's the crackle. Honestly, like the favorite thing that I've tried so far. I'm good. These are black truffle fries. You're probably gonna like these. I don't know, the idea of truffles freak me out now. Truffle truffle. Here is the package. The crispiest, classiest fries in Taiwan. Look, it's a fry. Those aren't bad. Totally reminds me of uh, beef ramen. You've liked all the truffle stuff that we've tried so far. Those are like little real french fries. They do, they look like french fries. We have carrot biscuit. Spiced carrot crackers. Crispy and addictive. Why is it perforated? Delicious. Love them. Need more. Really? Yep. Love it. Those taste like... Happiness. They taste like the little cookies that used to come in Happy Meals. <gasps> Do you remember those? Yes. That's the only thing I really like so far. Lord, this doesn't bode well. Green tea mochi. With the milky feeling. Taiwan's iconic rice cakes meet rice cocoa. Cocoa break! <laughs> Cocoa break! Okay, they are green. Oh. I just... <laughs> I'll let you take a bite first. They do look a little bit like mold. <laughs> They're good. They're just really awkward. I don't know. Eat the moldy ball. <laughs> You're getting powdered sugar everywhere. Eat the rest of it. What was the mochi we got at Tepin Ramen? Because one of the flavors was really, really good, but I think the other flavor might have been matcha. I think it was. And the other one was like, it wasn't peach. I thought it was orange. Mango. Was it mango? I think so, mango. Okay, that's not bad. It's just like... Weird. It just because it's like a darker green and then it has the white powder on it, it looks a little odd. Hella sus. You can take some of these to work. I can share my moldy balls with other people. <laughs> this looks interesting. This is peanut cake. <laughs> Crunchy peanut brittle bar. Taste why Taiwan can't stop crunching. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. Hmm. It's like a Chico stick. Who's Chico? You never had Chico stick? That's really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a Chico stick, but it's a little, a little harder. It's pretty good though. Next is the Taiwan Choco Ball. Choco coating, peanut filling, and mochi. Uh-oh. Cats are going nuts. Here's what this one looks like.
It's a little weird. It's chocolate on the outside and then mochi and then peanut butter. I'm uncomfortable with the consistency. We've got a few things left. Let's do this box. This is the crepe dentel wafer roll cookie cherry blossom. Bless you. So here is the box. Cherry blossom wafer rolls. They're pretty. Those better not be flowers. Do you want to hold one? No, I don't want one. <laughs> Here's the roll. It's really pretty. It's pretty good. There's like this little hint of like a floral taste at the end, but it just tastes like kind of sweet. Okay, we've got a couple more things left. This is the soft yuzu citrus cake. Yuzu sponge cake. Taste Taiwan's favorite fruit. <laughs> Citrusy yuzu. Fucking Taiwanese QVC over here. <laughs> Only yours for low, low price if I don't know. On easy <laughs> pre Pre-sampled snacks that can be yours for the low, low price of free 99 plus $10 shipping and handling. I don't know how real bottle is huh? It's got a nice flavor, but it's just like a dry outer cake. Here you go ahead. Oh no, we have one more thing. Shit. Taro Classic Waver Wavers. Wafers. Lord, the cats are losing it. Potatoes, nuttier, richer kin. I don't want one for myself. <laughs> what? I don't want one for myself. That looks like a potato wafer. Okay, but the ones you get here are good. Yeah, the potato wafer. Excuse me while I slice up a potato real thin like. Oh, these are good. I'm good. This is the first thing that I have like thoroughly enjoyed. It reminds me of those sugar snacks that are just atrocious. The really cheap sugar wafers? Yep. You can get like a, a pack this big for a dollar. 300 pack for 99 cents. <laughs> so we're down to our little bag that has usually like candies, just like small ones. The one oh, you saw nice. is called a snowflake crisp. Cookies and cream snowflake crisp nougat. Here we go. <laughs> An uber unique cookies and cream dream. That rhymed. Hmm. It's weird. <laughs> it doesn't know if it wants to be like a gummy or a cake. I'm very confused. It's at a confused stage right now. <laughs> Alright, next up we got the crispy roll. Coffee cream wafer roll. Taiwanese go to for coffee lovers. I'm gonna like this. Yeah, I'm not. Mmm. I'm good. You have to try it. A little bite. You don't like it? No. <laughs> I don't like the taste or the consistency. It's very strange. Okay, this is the last thing, right? Yup. More mochi. More more cocoa. These are chocolate pie cookies with mochi. Cocoa cookies with mochi filling. Soft cookie with a luxurious mochi middle. Mo mochi? Mochi. Mo mochi? Mochi. Mochi? Mochi? <laughs> Not mochi. Only the wire. Only the wire. <laughs> I feel like this has not been focusing well. <laughs> Cover your face. How many times have I heard that? That reminds me of something. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm good. I don't want it. I'm full, bro. Did you watch that one I say? One of the memes is like, you gotta hit your man with a bro a couple times a day so he knows he can go back in the friend zone. Friend zone at any time. <laughs> But I thought the rest of them were funnier. I'm so picky this time. I kind of feel bad, but I like the Tiro wafer. And there were other things that I'm like, okay with, but. It was an interesting bag. A lot of uh, different kinds of things. The involvement of Moshai <laughs> really kind of spices things up for me. Cause that's not something I have often. I do like the bubble tea popcorn because I am a fan of baba tea. Nothing like that around here in Hicksville. We've been to country. Okay, well, that was not the best. This was like my least favorite one that we've gotten, but I'm still always like, I'll try it, you know? But the, the basil, whatever the hell that was, was absolutely horrible. The other basil stuff that we got in the Greek box was not as bad to me. Like that was just like very fresh bait. It felt like you were just taking some leaves and just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> what was your favorite thing? And then we can stop. I enjoyed the Dale's steak seasoning chips. <laughs>
it's delicious. All right, so that's it for this time. Yeah, sorry that one was not more positive, but it was just, you know, you try stuff, sometimes you don't like it. But you won't know if you like it or not unless you try it. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed hanging with us for a little bit, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, what should they do? Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, post to various message boards on the internet. <laughs> also, uh, get the short form URL, put it on a sticker, put it on the back window. No. <laughs> no. Please don't do that. All Business right. cards. Go to a parking deck. Put the business cards under their windshield wiper. Just kind of lightly lift it up. With a QR code? Or? With a, we could make a QR code created no. for it. I don't know why we can't. <laughs> no. All right. Bye, guys. Ha, ha, ha.